so uh, uh, economists are, 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 are famous for their imperialism, starting with Gary Becker and his uh, 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 analysis of, of, of the household as an economic organization. But um, we see economists uh, analyzing a wide variety of social issues that are traditionally the domain of psychologists, behavioral economics, sociologists, anthropologists. Um, uh, how, how, how does a history of plow agriculture affect the gender division of labor in the 21st century? Um, so uh, I, 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 I think economics is deeply involved in addressing wider social issues. But your, your question was, was uh, more, uh, again, I think, do we do a good job at addressing those wider issues? Um, I think uh, uh, economists uh, are at our best when the question uh, in, involved uh, pertains to efficient markets. When markets are perfectly competitive and they clear and everybody shares the same information, we're really good at modeling that setting. And that of course is where we start when we teach economics to our students. But when we move beyond that to wider issues that involve imperfect competition and market power and asymmetric information and poorly defined uh, property rights, uh, our, our, our models are less adequate. So again, I think the economics profession over the course of recent decades has made progress in modeling those more complicated issues. But uh, as uh, a, a discipline as teachers, we have a tendency to teach the efficient markets because that's easy and that's where our models work that is the necessary starting point, but then we don't always go on and take that next step into the, onto that more, more difficult terrain, which you really have to prod in order to uh, uh, address wider issues. To, to address those wider issues, we have to do a variety of other things. Um, we have to take a more historical approach. That's an observation near and dear to my, to my heart. We have to consider the role of and development of institutions. Uh, we have to remind ourselves not to focus on currently trendy issues to the neglect of others. So uh, I, I, I don't think this is necessarily a, a, a particular flaw of economics and economists, many disciplines of, with which I'm familiar. Um, I spend a little bit of my time in political science and a little bit of my time in history, and there is similarly a tendency there to focus on what, a, what is currently trendy, maybe to the neglect of other equally important or, 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 or more important uh, wider issues. Um, again, I think there is a tendency to focus on issues where our tools work well where our tools have purchase, and those are not always the most important wider social issues. So that's something important to always bear in mind.